Hello everyone, this is Bonnie, and welcome to Bonnie's Bargains. Happy Mass Monday. So, before uh, I get started on uh, today's events, I just wanted to tell you what I'm using. Um, I do have my first laser appointment on Wednesday, so I'm not going to use any kind of mask. What I'm using are these uh, under eye mask. So it's not for the whole uh, face and they're green. First time I've ever used them. And you do get a little uh, scraper to get those out with. So I wanted to show you these because somebody had told me how great they are and they were on sale at uh, Amazon and these are called Praley Aloe Vera Under Eye Mask. And that's what they look like. And really pretty little packaging bottle. So that's what I'm using. And so I will, however, I do um, have a very, very dry face, so I want to sort of keep it moist before I go in, and a lot of people probably does not like to do this. For me, I do. This is Pure Raider uh, Professional Organic Sweet Almond Oil. I get this off of Amazon, and I use this by leaps and bounds. It really helps keep um, your skin moisturized. It doesn't feel oily, and I like to wash it off, though, before I put my bangs down because it will make them a little oily. So, and then I put it on my hands. So yes, I am having a mask Monday, but it's just not exactly on the face. And I've got my little doggies up here today, Chinsy, hi Chins. And you're gonna see that <laughs> they're older and so they're not very active. They mostly sleep all day and eat just like their mama, right? And then Shadow, he just topped down. Um, he was my mom's dog. And his name was Chewy, but we changed it to Shadow because he is like Ed and I Shadow. He follows us everywhere we go. So, okay. So that's what I'm using for Mask Monday. And so far I'm liking these under eye masks. They cling very good. So I'll let you know at the end if they're a thumbs up, which I believe they will be. Okay, so what is happening today? Well, I'm in a collab with Glitzy Jim, and her name is Stephanie. She does so many different things on her channel, um, but I know she does a lot of makeup, a lot of unboxings, and I tell you, she knows how to put on makeup, and she is a beautiful, beautiful girl, woman. I call her girls. She's so much younger than me, but yes, she is a really pretty, sweet girl. And so here's the scoop. Um, she has been working so hard to get to a thousand subscribers. I mean, really hard. So my YouTube family, we need to put a rainbow in someone's clouds today, and that rainbow needs to go to Stephanie. Um, so I ask that you please subscribe to her channel. Make a difference today. And I know she would be over the moon and back 
with appreciation. So, and if you will, just say, Bonnie sent me over. Um, and and j I just want to make her smile, okay? So, and I understand it, it, you know, when you're trying to hit a thousand subscribers, that's a biggie. And I think right now she is, she is at 600 and something subscribers. So she has maybe around, well, 668 subscribers. That's what she, that's what she has. And so let's get her or help get her to a thousand as much as possible. And you know, it, it truly is always about helping others, right? So, okay, so what are we gonna do on our collab? Well, we actually have questions for the day. So the first question is, what do you think is the best way to spend money? Now that is, is something really deep in thought. What is the best way to spend money? So I'll tell you about Ed and I. Uh, when we got together, we did as much as we could do. We wanted to get things paid off. Um, I got promotions, gave up everything in the States, and we went to Germany, we went to Japan. We taught conversational English over in Japan as a side job. Um, and I just tell you, uh, when we were in Japan, we weren't able to travel that much because it was just so many people. It was a hassle to go anywhere. You had to take the train, really couldn't travel. And so we decided, let's do this. That way we get to know the Japanese people, which we became very good friends with. And let's save our money. And so that's what we did. And uh, our goal was to work, save money, get things paid off. And um, when I say paid off, our goal was, you know, car, home, furniture, everything. And then you just have utilities, unexpected bills, um, you know, and then it, it, you're not strapped for money. So that was our goal, and guess what? We did it. It was a long journey, but Ed and I have been very blessed. We worked very hard. Nobody ever gave us anything. Um, we did it on our own. And a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of focus, and... Uh, here we are. And then uh, we are, I, I have to say, we are on a fixed budget because we have money invested. And hopefully uh, when the day comes that we can't stay in our home uh, and whatever we have to do, whether it's hire somebody to come in and take care of us or either we have to go in assisting, assisted living. Um, we do not have to be a burden on any of our children. So um, that's where we are in our life. Ed, 75, I'll be 70 this year. And yep, so we've been very blessed, but we work really hard to get where we are really hard. Long hours, overtime, yeah. And then um, we went into additional jobs like um, buying and selling antiques and doing shows. And so we were busy around the clock, around the clock. And um, it all worked out. I sold things on eBay for a while. Um, and then we took some extra side jobs. So, yeah, whatever we could do to make additional money and, and get everything paid off. So that's what we did. And 
I'm very thankful we did that because there were times it was like, ooh, I just, you know, I just can't do this anymore. But uh, with, with the strength of our marriage and the strength of having each other, it worked out. So, very happy about that. Um, the second question that goes along, again, with money. Um, and what do you probably spend more, the most money on? Okay, that's an easy one for me. Um, I have a list. Uh, the top one is, do I spend on my kids and my grandchildren? Yes, I do. And when my husband needs anything, does he get what he wants? Yes, he does. And then just to do YouTube, um, I do pick up things, but everything's always on sale. It's, um, so I do spend money on that. Um, the second thing is on um, friends or people that need help. And um, I always, always try to give charities and uh, a lot of my things are to the elderly. Um, and then to our friends, like even to hairdressers or to people in McDonald's that I don't know when it becomes holidays, I always try to pick up things and make a little basket for them, whether it's things on sale at Walmart or mostly Dollar Tree. Um, and that just, that, I hope it makes them feel good because you know what, it makes me feel good, especially for the elderly. Um, there was a lot of times uh, that when my mom was an assistant living, we threw parties uh, and they loved them. And then we always made baskets for them. And uh, that was when my mom lived in Alabama and then in her end days when she lived in Utah. And that brought me so much joy. Those little elderly people that were in wheelchairs or had Alzheimer's or couldn't, couldn't get out or especially the ones that had no family or the families did not visit. So that was a, a really, a really big thing for me. And again, we do um, give to charities and probably an off the wall one that I give to is um, in my uh, reading of the Bible and in my faith that always says support Israel. So there is a box called called Arzta A R Z T A, and I get it once a month just to support Israel, and it goes into uh, for the children and the families uh, that don't have a lot of money. And then I have to tell you, yes, I do help out some of my YouTube family, and we don't talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. But uh, some of my YouTube family needs help, and um, I do that. But I know the ones that really, truly need help, and that's important to me, too, because my YouTube family, you are my family also. Okay, so enough of that, but that's money issues with me. The next thing I've got is... I'm going to do a giveaway. But before I show the giveaway, hi, sweetie, are you getting down? Are you looking out the window? Loves to look out, but I have a big window right here, and he he checks on the neighbors. He's like the guard dog, right? He keeps up with, with everybody. But anyway, uh, the giveaway rules. First of all, this is only going to be open to the U.S. Um, you must be 18 years or older. I ask that you like the video and in the comments, use my secret word, rainbow, R-A-I-N-B-O-W. 
and please use rainbow in a complete sentence. If you are the winner, I ask that you please respond to me within 48 hours to my Gmail account, bonniesbargain68 at gmail.com or either my IG account, uh, my IG account Bonnie's Bargain 68 and please have your mailing address included in those. You must be publicly subscribed to both Glitzy Gym and Bonnie's Bargains and I will check. Um, that is the only way that you will be eligible for our giveaways because Glitzy is given um, away and I don't have a clue what she's giving. And uh, so you definitely check out her channel and see what that is. And her giveaway rules may be different than mine. So be sure to listen to her rules also. Um, but you must be publicly subscribed to both our channels. If you subscribe to me and then unsubscribe, you will not be eligible for any of my future giveaways. If anything is broken, leaks, lost, stolen, or damaged, I cannot be held responsible. YouTube does not have anything to do with this giveaway. I buy all of my giveaway items and I am not affiliated with any company. If you have an allergic reaction or medical issue with anything that is in my giveaway, I cannot be held responsible. This giveaway uh, will close on Sunday, 30 October, and the winner will be announced on Monday, 31 October. So, let's see what is in the giveaway. So, um, sometimes I order boxes, and this is just a glossy box um, container. And um, if, if it's on sale, then I will order the different boxes. I, I don't have subscriptions. So let me show you what I picked up in my different boxes. And this was, this was actually in Glossy Box. Um, this is Stress Checks Clean Hands, and this works. It is a no rinse formula. Never been used. The second thing, I believe this was in a Walmart box. This is Cetaphil Replenishing Body Lotion. It's a, a good size. And I already have some of this, so I'm passing it on to you. This was in uh, a box, and it's Terra Mars, and it is like a shower gel. And I have some of this, and this is thumbs up for me. I actually got two of them, so I'm passing one on to you. And it's a good size. Also, um, this was in the glossy box. It is, it's like an invisible bobble for your hair. Um, they're a gold color, so you really can't see it. And I don't want to open it, but there's three of them in there. What do you think, Chinzy? Oh, uh oh, he's spotting a dog. Is he gonna bark? I see the dog. Oh, he's getting excited. This is the most you'll see him get excited all day. And he never barks. This dog never barked. Now, he's seeing a dog. Look at him. He's seeing the dog out the window. Now, most dogs would just go crazy and bark. Sometimes I wonder. I've heard him bark maybe once or twice. But... Yeah, I don't know. He's a Japanese chin, so I don't know if it has to do with his 
breed, but he's the best dog, and I love him so much. Just such a good dog. And then the last thing is, and I have this, and this is good stuff. It's David's Premier Toothpaste. It's fluoride-free, sulfate-free, natural peppermint. And this is also, this came in a box. I, I believe it was a glossy box. I'm, and this is the size of it. And geez, sorry, you can't see it. It's really windy and chilly today, but the sun's out. But there you go, you can see the box. There you go. So, this is the end of my video. So, let me take these off. Oh, I'm going to slide these down too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if any of you were able to watch North Carolina Mountain Mama Stephanie and our live yesterday, it's on Stephanie's channel. We did the gratitude awards and we told who the winners were and I was so happy for everybody. But anyway, I put glitter on and that glitter, I washed wash my face with cleanser last night six or seven times and it is taking forever to get that glitter off. But we were ready for the red carpet and it was so much fun, so much fun. And congratulations to the winners. And if you don't know who the winners are, be sure to go watch um, that live. Okay, guys. I'm counting on you to go subscribe to Glitzy Jim, Stephanie, and help her out. She's a jewel. Be a rainbow in someone's clouds today, and I'll see you in the next video.